All right, y'all. So today is the moment of truth. As you see in the title, I canceled Boxy Charms. So this one is September Lux, and this one is September Premium. So I decided to cancel Boxy Charm because I think I saw a post on their Instagram. I think three days ago and they said that they were going to upgrade their system and upgrade their prices so I said yeah no um, many of you know that I've been a charmer for I think four years and well almost five and I said yeah no so base is 25 and it stays the same but premium they brought it up from 35 to 49.99 and lux is going to be 59.99 from 49 so yeah that's no so i'm gonna be unboxing both premium and lux for today so we're gonna start with premium <laughs> which is right here so we're gonna see what we have just because they sometimes is a hit or miss with boxy charm so we are going to figure that out together let's see so the first thing we have here is by Laroque. this retails for $23 and this is the diamond eye gloss trio so this is what it looks like I'm gonna unbox that and see So I never really tried Lorac's products, so I'm very curious myself to see. I'm going to swatch them for you guys, just so you can see the quality of them, just because, you know. Mm. Alright y'all, so these are what they look like, and they're very shiny, and they're very glittery at the same time, so I actually like them. I can't wait to use them, especially since the holidays are coming up, so I am excited for that. It is 23, like I said, so... They are definitely not bad. Like, these kind of remind me of like the Stilla ones, and I think I've tried maybe one of them. But this is actually cheaper, like three for 23, because I think $23, like, it's for one of the Stilla ones. So, next thing we have here is Hey Honey Lip Balm. This is a trick and treat lip balm. Kind of sounds like a Halloween theme. This one also retails for $23. So, let's see. So this one's kind of like a berry color, and I'm gonna try it on because why not? Let's see. Okay. It definitely tastes sweet, and it's very thick, so the fact that it says with nourishing benefits might actually help. Okay. I like it. I think it's really nice, and it actually tastes sweet because I like taste and stuff. Okay, moving on. So the next thing we have here is by Laura Mercier. I use a lot of her products, so I do like this brand. I will definitely link this down below. It will be an affiliated link, so I do get commission if you guys use um, buy this through that link. This retails for $27, and this is their Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. I don't really use makeup eye makeup removers because they always like hurt my eyes, like dedicated eye makeup removers like are too much so this is what it looks like and it's greasy that's something I really don't like because this has hurt my eye before but anyway it's really pretty so Beauty Bakery is a brand that I really like and they happen to feature in this box so this one is the Milk and Honey highlighting palette this one retails for $38 I didn't know they had highlighting palettes so I'm curious but whoa so this is what it looks like it's really pretty i don't want to swatch it because i don't think i'm going to use this in my it's going to be in a future giveaway of mine's but it's really pretty and i like the colors but i don't contour anymore so i will not get use out of this palette so it will go to someone who can but it's a very pretty packaging and i like it so for 38 dollars that's money so pick that up if, on add-ons if you're there but I won't be there because I canceled BoxyCharm out completely. So the next thing we have here is 
a Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager by Complex Culture. This one is $58. I have the Rose Quartz one that BoxyCharm gave, I think, in August. Was it August? June or August? And the roller fell and the ball on the top of the Rose Quartz um, broke. So, yeah, clumsy me. So this is what it looks like. It's very like, the bar is really nice. I can't wait to use it, but hopefully it doesn't break on me like the other one did. And yeah, let's see, I've never used this before. So we're gonna try it, $58. We have this last thing here, which I already have because if you guys um, follow AIA, AIA Beauty um, for August um, had a herbivore bundle and i already got this so this is pretty much a stock up but i am gonna leave it for a future giveaway because i am getting another one i think so this is of course by the brand herbivore this is their blue tansy resurfacing clarity mask and this retails for four eh, is it 48 yeah 48 dollars, and it's basically like a very soothing oil i've used it already it's really nice and it's it smells very strong so if you're very sensitive to strong smells don't like don't use it but it's actually really nice and it's a very weird green consistency so if you like masks like this i would recommend it but just be careful because it is very strong and if you have sensitive skin also be careful so yeah that was everything in my premium box so now we're going to go into my luxe box all right, y'all, don't mind me, I'm kind of tired. So this is the Lux box, and the first thing I see here is by Grace and Stella. This is not the first time I see this brand on here. This is the Hot and Cold Gel Bead Eye Mask. This retails for $18. I think in the last box, they gave like the Hot and Cold Gel Packs. No, wait. I feel like they gave this before. They gave this before, but not like this. Like, it's basically a mask and it has beads inside. And I guess you can heat it up or you can make it cold. You can microwave it, okay. This, I might actually use this today. This is really cool, 18 bucks. So that's something I'm definitely gonna use. We have something else here that I'm not gonna use. So it's gonna be in a future giveaway as well if you guys want it. This is by the brand, um, where are we? Oh, Cap Cosmetics. This is their contour palette and they're all matte contour shades. They're silky supposedly, so hopefully. Uh, it retails for $60. Now I did hear Hot Mess Mama, I love watching her. She's like my idol. And she did, I think, look into this and apparently this brand actually sold the same palette in Walmart or TJ Maxx in a different packaging. So the value is actually less than what it says there, but I'm I'm not sure, like this is research that other people do, but I'm just gonna show it here, what it looks like. So these are the shades. I'm not gonna use it, I don't contour anymore. So this is definitely gonna go to future giveaway. If you like what you see, then stay tuned. But um, yeah, it's really nice, and I like the fact that it's silky, but I am not going to use it. So otherwise, it's really nice, and I mean, the value is 60, so it's not that bad. Like I said, with BoxyCharm, it's hit or miss. Um, I'm more into skincare now than makeup, so for me, it's a little different. But everybody else's preference is different. Like I said, I don't like the fact that they raised their prices, so that's just me like if you're okay with the price you're okay with the price but i don't like it I, i've been a charmer with them for four years i've been with them at the worst and the good and that was just disappointing okay so we have a rare beauty product which i'm very excited to try and this one is her brow harmony pencil and gel it retails for 22. okay y'all so sad truth i was trying to test out the eye pencil and this is what it looks like, which is really nice, but I didn't even pull it out all the way and a piece of it broke off. Like, it just broke off. And I never tried any of her products, this would be the first, but like, it like broke off. I don't know, I'm hoping it doesn't do that again because I really need an eyebrow pencil, but anyway. 
Moving on. Next thing we have here is by a brand I feel like I've seen before, but I don't remember. This is the new co and this is defense drops so your first line of defense of getting sick this immune boosting liquid tincture contains a blend of adaptogenic herbs and immunodilating extracts to naturally antibacterial okay that's too much it, it's a defense drop it retails for 35 i would have to research the ingredients because i don't want to just take any tincture but this one apparently has rosemary Rachina. It has a few things, but I'm going to research the ingredients before I have this because I've tried like ashwagandha and stuff like that, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna research that. Next thing we have here is by the brand Iconic. This is not the first time we get stuff from them, and this is their triple threat mascara. It retails for $26. I love mascaras, so it's very good that I always get them. It's a really pretty mascara. Oh my God. All right, y'all. So the only thing I don't like about this brush is that it has no bristle. It's very, like, it has no bristle. Like, I guess these are good if you want to, like, touch them up with already putting mascara with bristles or even your under, like, your bottom lashes but i can't even use this for my bottom lashes like it doesn't i don't know this is gonna be interesting but i'll try it and i'll let you know all right we have a saturday skin product here i haven't used their product in a long time so saturday skin don't kill me this one is their pretty pop probiotic powder whipped cream and it retails for 57 dollars now, many of you know I've converted to skincare a lot, so I'm very happy to get their brand. This is glass, so be careful. And this is what it looks like. It's very nice. We're going to smell it because we're smellers here. Let's see. It doesn't smell weird, which is good. And it's definitely like a whipped... See the lighting? There you go. It's like a whipped cream. Whoa. Whoa. We're going to try some on because I'm curious. It's like watery. It's not too thick, which I like. So it gives like a really nice glow and I like that. Let's see. All right. So we have another skincare product here. And this one is from the Lifestyle Co. I think I've seen their brand in BoxyCharm before, but I can't remember what month it was. This one is their Bamboo Body Polish. It retails for $49. I don't know. I feel like I've seen this before. Anyway, it does say 100% natural. And they do have jojoba oil, aloe vera, and bamboo stem extract. So I'm guessing that's good. Let's see. We're going to smell it because like I said, it's very liquidy, but it smells really good. It smells very sweet. Like, it's very... Yeah, it's very liquidy, so be careful. But... I'm guessing you still do this in a shower. Let's see the directions. So <laughs> it kind of feels like lotion. So this is a scoop between fingers, apply to wet skin in massage circular motion, focusing on rough areas. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry for soft moisture skin. So yeah, um, it's not lotion. Wash it off. <laughs> okay, so the last thing here that I was very excited for is I think Hot Miss Mama got it too. This one is the Not So Mini Flat Iron, and it retails for $99. And this one is the brand Adagio. Adagio, I think. In case you guys wanted to know, I know it's not important. I got the variation 21.09404. Like, I don't know. Fall thing, too. Anyway, this is my last box anyway, so... Yeah. So... I like the fact that I got this flat iron. I do have a very good flat iron, but having a smaller one, I guess is a lot better too. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see. It says, I like the fact that they named it not so many because it kind of isn't. Okay. So I like the way this looks, especially since my hair is, sh ow. Since my hair is shorter now, like this is gonna be like I could just like 
do this and just like yeah this is perfect well thank you my last box is gonna be a flat iron that will go into you so i'm definitely gonna try this tomorrow okay well that is everything i received in both boxes so thank you guys for watching that with me unfortunately like i said i know we spoke about it a little bit this is going to be my last boxy charm box <sighs> like i said i don't like the prices and i think we're better off that way after like almost five years so you will not see boxy charm on my channel anymore not even base looks nothing so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for my next video i'm going to be posting a lot of other boxes that i'm going to try i'm going to try a lot of new boxes as well so stay tuned for that i'm not going to tell you which but there's a lot that i've been watching and stay tuned for that if you haven't done so already you can subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on the notification bell so youtube lets you know when i first post a video without further ado guys 